today. It's uh, an opportunity for the South Australian Police to launch an exciting crime prevention initiative, uh, Be Safe, Stay Safe, Travel Safe, where we provide information to people coming to South Australia, indeed travelling through Australia, on how they can stay safe in areas such as safe partying, beach, uh, travel in the outback, and also ride sharing. And so uh, we're excited to work in partnership with the Commissioner for Victims' Rights, uh, with support of the Minister and the current government, but also particularly with uh, uh, our Crime Stoppers uh, have been wonderful supporters, and together we're putting this message out to uh, engage with travellers, probably the younger travellers in particular, that are coming to South Australia and are using the digital world to communicate as opposed to going to a travel agent when they come travelling to South Australia. So we're sort of getting that footprint uh, in the social media space to provide safe travel trips uh, and tips for, for people coming to a wonderful state, South Australia. Is there something that's happened that's led to you guys launching this? Yeah, look, um, it's uh, obviously uh, in recent uh, years there have been certainly some uh, crimes that have had at least in part uh, some aspect where hitchhiking has been involved or ride share. That's not to say that that's dangerous but there's certainly steps that can be taken to keep safe such as... I'm halfway through an answer. Oh. You ready? Thank you. And so uh, some of the safety tips for ride sharing are like taking a photograph of the number plates of the vehicle, etc., advising friends, planning ahead and really uh, not uh, staying isolated but engaging with family and friends to let them know where you're going and who you're with. Now, they're small things but they're important. So um, yes, we're reflecting on some crimes that have happened but this isn't just about crime, it's about the broader picture of safety, uh, as I said, at beaches, safe partying uh, and travelling into the outback and more. But uh, all in all, it's a great suite of information that people will stay safe if they follow uh, when they come to this state. How are you going to get that info out to them? Okay, so uh, through the South Australian Police website, we, uh, uh, the, those savvy enough to, to hook in can, uh, through Twitter or Facebook, uh, Instagram, we'll be pushing and, uh, uh, our message out. And hopefully, over time, the more than almost 500,000 followers we have on Facebook will push out even more of the message. So this is the seeding of it. Uh, we're also giving out a nice little fold out that, uh, from, at uh, uh, industry locations such as backpacker hostels and others where uh, people who pop in can pick them up, take them away and read them. And so uh, there's different ways, but uh, hopefully the message will spread and that's the important message. Yeah. Um, so just be clear, like, well, you don't think it's dangerous or risky behaviour to engage in ride sharing or any of these? Oh, look, um, I've been asked if it's dangerous to engage in ride sharing. Uh, my answer is uh, uh, it, it's not, but it's also important and prudent to take care, to take steps, because many times the ride share occurs and nothing goes wrong. But of course, there's a responsibility on us all to take some actions to look after our own safety. And this is just one small step. So um, South Australia is a very safe place. This is just another element. So we're all in this together and we're all working together to, to keep it safe. Is it going to scare people off? No, we don't think so, because it's not just focused on uh, ride share. As I said, it's about safety in the outback, uh, swimming, swimming between the flags at, at the beaches, um, where you travel in the outback, uh, vehicle maintenance and more. So it's a big suite of safety messaging. So, so I think the Minister is available now for comment. Is that all right? Sorry. Yeah. He's too tall for me anyway.